Let's go down to the cellar. What for? <laughs> I don't know. We never go down to the cellar anymore. We never did go down in the cellar that I can remember. I could rest easy the balance of my life if I never went down there. <laughs> Supposing I said that it meant a whole lot to me? <laughs> What's come over you? It's cold down there and there's absolutely nothing to do. Nothing to do? Why, we could go down there and pick up pieces of coal and pull them around and make a game. I don't know, we could do something. I don't want to. And anyway, I'm reading. Oh, well, you can read down there as far as that goes. Come on. There isn't a good enough light to read down there, and anyway, I'm not going to go down in the cellar. You may as well make up your mind to that. Uh, gosh, Karen. Oh, why is it that you never want to do anything fun with me? Other people's wives go down in the cellar, you know. It's, it's not like I'm asking you to do something hard, like go to the movies with me. Come on. I don't want to go. Fine, fine. Be that way. Gosh. You probably want to get me down there to bury me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for a minute. I want to get you out of the way so I can run away with my secretary. Is there anything so wrong about that? I mean, it happens all the time. Love isn't something you can control. Now, now, we've been all over that. I'm not going to go all over that again. I suppose this filing person put you up to it? <laughs> you needn't get sarcastic, Karen. Miss Daly's my secretary. I have plenty of people to file without having her file, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, anyway, she doesn't know anything about this. She's not in on it. She thinks that, well, I told her that maybe you would go visit some friends and you would fall off a cliff. She wants me to get a divorce. That's a laugh. You may bury me, but you'll never get a divorce. That's what I said. That's <laughs> <laughs> the divorce part. <laughs> oh, you probably told her about burying me, too. I would never. It's between you and me. <laughs> You'd blab it to the whole world. Don't tell me. I know you. All right, all right. I admit it. I wish you were buried now and the whole thing was over with. <laughs> Don't suppose you'd get caught, you crazy thing. They always get caught. Now, why don't you go to bed? You're just getting yourself all worked up over nothing. Okay. Okay. I'm not getting myself worked up over nothing. I am going to bury you in the cellar. I have made up my mind to do it. And you cannot convince me otherwise. <laughs> Listen, will you be satisfied and shut up if I go down in the cellar? Can I have a little peace if I go down in the cellar? Will you let me alone then? Uh, yes. <laughs> Don't you spoil it by taking that attitude. <laughs> sure, sure. I always spoil everything. Have you got an envelope? What do you want an envelope for? I'd like to mark my place in this book. <laughs> You're not going to get the chance to finish it. <laughs> All right. Lead the way. <laughs> you would think of this at this time of year. Any other husband would have buried his wife in the summer. Ah, oh, come on. You can't plan these kinds of things. I mean, I didn't fall in love with the girl till uh, late fall. <laughs> Mercy, but it's cold down here, and I can never find the light. What have you got there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was gonna hit you on the head with this shovel. <laughs> you were, huh? Yeah. Well, get that right out of your mind. Do you want to leave a great big clue right here in the middle of everything where the first detective that comes snooping around will find it? No. Go out in the street and find a piece of iron or something. Oh, right, a piece of iron. <laughs> Just like a woman to think there'd be a piece of iron lying around in the street. Well, let me see now. Ah. Here's the perfect thing. It's what they call a heavy, blunt instrument. <laughs> That's not ours. We don't own a monkey wrench. No, that's what I'm trying to tell you. The plumber left it here last week after he fixed the sink in the kitchen, and it doesn't belong to either one of us. Okay. So what's it doing down here? Didn't he want it back or something? Well, you see, it went like this. He did call about it, but I told him I hadn't seen it, and then I brought it down here. 
Huh. <laughs> okay. Where did you get that glove? Oh, I had it stuffed in my pocket absentmindedly. I guess I must have been thinking about something else. Can I have it? <laughs> oh, so that's why you agreed to come down here. Hey, who's been digging that hole? <laughs> well, if I were a cop, I'd want to know whose fingerprints were on that shovel. <laughs> oh, Karen. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, hey. Why don't we uh, we go upstairs? <laughs> Please, don't come any closer. Where are you going, Derek? Uh, I'm going to call the, the plumber and tell him that you've got his right. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. And scene. Oh. <laughs>